audio article by the Common Constitutionalist entitled, With All That Is Happening, The Left Chooses the Birther Issue. In the past three or four days, the old Obama birther claims are again making headlines. This time is that candidate Donald Trump is attempting to close the door on it by saying that Barack, Benito, Milhouse, Hussein, Obama, hat tip Mark Levin, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't Trump that said that, was born in the United States, a period. You know it, the claim that Obama was born in Kenya and therefore not eligible to be president, the claim that was first implicitly floated by the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2007 and 2008. Yeah, that one. It wasn't Trump who originally fired up the birther train. He just took it to ridiculous heights. It was actually a political stunt by Hillary Clinton's chief strategist, Mark Penn, who wrote in 2007, his, Obama, roots to basic American values and culture are at best limited. I cannot imagine America electing a president during a time of war who is not at his center fundamentally American in his thinking and his values. Penn also suggested how the campaign might take advantage of this. Every speech, well, excuse me, quote, every speech should contain the line that you, Hillary, were born in the middle of America to the middle class in the middle of the last century, he advised Clinton. Quote, talk about the basic bargain as about the deeply American values you grew up with, with learned as a child and that drive you today. All that nonsense. He went on, Let's explicitly own American in our programs, the speeches with, and the values. He doesn't. Let's add flag symbols to the backgrounds of campaign events. So they've chosen the one straw man they can go to war against, a topic so utterly pointless at this time, the only question to be asked, what is the point? Almost eight years into Obama's reign, and it's being brought up again. There is no point other than as a distraction, which is the point. Anything to get Clinton out of the limelight. Maybe it's because Clinton is fading faster than a red shirt in a vat of bleach. Is the left feeling the urgent need to somehow distract the American electorate and focus their attention on something other than sickly Hillary? Add to this the fact that Islamic terrorism has once again landed right in our own backyards, which plays right into Trump's wheelhouse. Yet with the Donald Declaration, it should be over, right? It certainly would be if it were a Democrat. But heck no. Now the press wants an explanation to accompany the Declaration. Anything to distract. And if he provides that, there will be yet another follow-up which they will surely have already scripted and circulated throughout the leftist press. Literally every mainstream liberal news outlet has posted a Trump birther story, some posting multiple articles. The New York Times, whose model, motto is, All the Lies Fit to Print, had the nerve to write, Trump claimed that Hillary Clinton had been the first to spread the rumor that Obama was not a native-born citizen. This is a lie, a lie that all the fact-checkers in the world debunked when he started saying it long ago. Well, you're right, New York Times. The Clinton campaign did not say those exact words, which, of course, does give liberal fact-checkers cover, but an honest assessment of Penn's statements above must conclude that this is what they were going for. Yet, what would the New York Times know about honest assessments? If I were Trump, at his next event, I would turn directly to the cameras and say, I hear the Democrats want an apology for the so-called birther nonsense. I'll tell you what, I'll apologize for that the day Hillary apologizes for lying about Benghazi, for lying about classified documents for 100 years of liberals running this country into the ground, for Obamacare, for the rise of ISIS, for the Iran nuclear debacle, etc., etc., etc. Thanks for listening.